coach. I'm here today to bring you the next session of Feel Unstoppable. So what are we going to do today? We're going to actually look at the first part of a triathlon today and see where it fits in there. Can anybody remember what that is? Yep, you got it. It's swimming. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Before we get started, I just want to make sure that you've got enough space around you that you're safe. So you can do a big circle, jump up and down, and you're not gonna hurt yourselves. Now, you'll notice that I'm not wearing any shoes today. When you swim, you don't wear shoes. But anyway, I'm not wearing shoes because I've got a lovely mat and I've actually got quite a slippy um, wooden floor. But if you've got carpet or you want to wear shoe trainers or shoes, then feel free to do so, but just make sure you're careful. Now, equipment for today. What do we need? Cushions might be a good idea. You never know if you might be needing them you're definitely gonna need some sort of hat. Now, you can, if you've got a swim hat, that's brilliant, grab that. But today, I'm using my woolly hat. I'm also gonna be using my swim goggles. So if you've got some swim goggles, that's great. But if you haven't, don't worry, use some sunglasses or glasses. I've also got my race belt, just in case. And I've got my trainers. Well, actually, they're my socks because I'm gonna use these instead of trainers. So super quick and easy. And this other big bundle I've got here is actually a onesie. Now, why do we need a onesie? I'm gonna tell you later. But if you haven't got a onesie, don't worry about it. If you've got a zip up hoodie, that'll be awesome. Or even just a jumper. But that's what we need for today. And we're gonna get cracking. Whenever we do any exercise, it's really important to warm up. So we're gonna do our warm up game. And today's warm up game is all based around swimming, of course, because that's what we're looking at. So let's start by warming up our arms. And what I want us to do is to just do some big arm circles, round and round. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little think about what actually works well for us in triathlon and what strokes that we would use in triathlon. So let's just do five arm circles on one side. So it's like we're shrugging our shoulders up to our ears and down, and then do five on the other side. So big arm circles, and we're going backwards at the moment. Okay, let's do both together. Because we've got to get that mobility in our shoulders to do swimming, because we use our arms for all of it, don't we? Okay, let's go forward. So let's do five. Big arm circles forward on one side, and then let's go to the other side. Awesome. And then let's put both of our arms forward together. Now, I don't know if you can see, but actually, so far, three of these movements that I've been using are to do with swimming so far, aren't they? So we did a little bit of backstroke to start off with, and then we did a bit of front crawl, and now we're doing some butterfly. So that just leaves us to use our arms to warm up with breaststroke. So we're gonna push our arms forward, stretch as far as they can, lean forward, and then come back and open up our chest. So we're bringing our arms back as far as we can. We're gonna reach forward, and imagine we're doing a great big breaststroke. So we're warming up, we're coming forwards, we're standing up tall, we're warming up our backs and our shoulder blades. That's it, brilliant job. Okay, but we don't just use our arms, do we? We use our legs. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna do some jumps. We're just gonna jump up and down, get everything moving. And let's jump to the side. That's it, well done. And let's jump forwards and backwards. Fabulous. Now what this is doing is making us breathe a bit heavier. So that means that we're starting to get everything engaged and our heart rate's coming up and getting us ready. Let's do some jogging on the spot for a little bit. Do these relate to swimming? Hmm, not sure but at least they're getting us a little bit more moving and ready. Okay, 
we are going to do some squats and some jumps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna almost sit down as if you're sitting on the toilet and you're gonna come up. You're gonna squat down and come up. And all the time, your knees are going in line with your feet. And trying to keep your chest as high as you can. Okay, so does this go into swimming? How about we add a nice little jump to get it us going a little bit more? That's it, well done. Let's keep going with this. And then we're gonna do two more and we're gonna go on our backs. Okay, let's lay down on our backs. That's why I've got this mat down. Oh, we're not taking it easy just yet though. What I want you to do is lift your legs up and we're gonna kick them. So, we do use our legs in swimming, but do we kick them this wide? Not really. We kick them little, don't we? So, if you want, you can have your legs up here and kick as quickly as you can. But we don't just want to use our knees, we want to use our whole legs. So, we're gonna kick like this and hopefully you're getting really warm. Okay, and relax. Whew. Let's turn onto our front and do the same. So, are you ready? Just rest on your, you can put your hand on your chin and we're just gonna kick our whole leg. And we're gonna point our toes and relax our ankles and we're gonna kick. Brilliant, well done. Okay, we're gonna do this for five, four, three, two, one, whew, and relax. Hopefully, you're feeling all a little bit more warmed up now. Don't forget, super important, have some drink handy so that when you're feeling a little bit out of breath, you can grab your drink. So, I spoke about what strokes we use in triathlon. Now, Swimming, you've got four main strokes. Backstroke, front crawl, fly, and breaststroke. But in triathlon, we only use one stroke most of the time. Can anybody think what that would be? Yep, you got it, front crawl. So, we just use front crawl. And can I let you into a little secret? We don't just swim in swimming pools. We actually swim in lakes and rivers and open water, wherever it's safe to do so. I don't recommend you just go into any old lake. We always go to lakes that have got lifeguards, that some people to look after us, but it's so much fun. And that's why I've got this onesie, because we normally wear a wetsuit, because it's pretty cold. It's not heated like a swimming pool. Okay, so front crawl is the stroke that we stick to. And there's one thing that we have to think about when we're in open water, if we decide it's too much and we can't carry on, we go onto our backs and we do backstroke. So that's why we do a little bit of backstroke as well. Okay, hopefully you're feeling a little bit more rested up now from our warm up and we're gonna get on with the main set. We're gonna play one of my favorite dry land swim games and that's called boomerang up. Now, it's super simple, and I'm gonna go through it with you, but as soon as I say go, you're gonna jump up and do what I say. So we're gonna start, first of all, by laying down, okay? Now, if you want, you can simulate the swim by having three cushions laying down, or as many cushions as you've got, and you can lay on them like this, oh! Or you can just lay on the floor, whichever is more comfy. So for this, I'm going to move my cushions out of the way and I'm just going to try and do this on my mat. Okay, so to start with, what we're going to do, we're going to give this a go a few times. We're going to lay down on our front, okay? And then I'm going to say go and we're going to jump up. We're going to be swimming whilst we're doing this. We're going to jump up and we're going to stand on one leg. Okay, so let's try this first time. So we're going to do La, 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 having a nice swim, making sure you breathe, so turning your head 
to one side every third stroke and then we're going to jump up so we jump up and I'm going to try and land on one leg oh it's really tricky okay I'm landing on my right leg because that's my strongest leg okay so let's try that again are you ready I'm not going to tell you this time see if you can have a go don't worry if you fall over it's all about balance okay let's go for a nice little swim la 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 keep swimming that's it just keep swimming and go so you jump up and land on one leg whoa brilliant job awesome one more time and then we're going to switch to seeing if we can stand on our other leg okay let's go so remembering kicking your arms stretching your legs out if you want you can add in your breathing let's go oh oh put my leg down oh never mind that's okay okay let's try it on the other side i'm gonna switch around to the other side come down let's go let's swim where am i swimming to today i don't know oh somewhere nice and hot oh okay and go oh oh whoa that's a real tricky side to do my left side i'm not so balanced on that side but don't worry that's good and hopefully by the end of this we'll have a lot more knowledge as to what side we need to work on our balance okay and then you might be saying to me why do i need to work on my balance in my swim well swimming is the first part of triathlon go oh i'll finish saying that in a sec whoa there you go well done Whew. okay one last time this way right so come down swimming as i was saying is the first part of triathlon and that's when we hear the word take your marks go so we have to react super quickly and if we're jumping or diving in we have to be able to balance up you get go Ooh. fantastic okie dokie now this time i'm going to add in a little bit more you can choose which leg but what i want you to do is get into a super streamlined position now being streamlined means that we can go faster but not doing that much and what i mean by streamlined is you're going to tuck your head in between almost like you're going to grip your um arms to your head and go in as close as possible so i want to become as thin as possible so i've got less to go through the water okay so we're going to do that and we're going to still stay on one leg okay let's have another go are you ready so we're just going to keep swimming oh here we go just keep swimming and up you get oh quick oh 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 golly it's a lot harder to do it when you're trying to get into a streamlined position Whew. okay let's try that again oh so just keep swimming and remember you can try any of these games whenever you like okay go into streamline oh and what you need to do to let you into a little secret that makes it really easy or a little bit easier is to look in one place and to hold your tummy in okay one more time and then i'm going to be cheeky and add in one more thing okay are you ready let's swim do 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 well done and go oh there we go awesome job Whew. okay now as i mentioned earlier sometimes we swim in open water and in open water it can make us feel when we come out like you get on a, a boat a little bit dizzy a little bit wobbly so i'm gonna add that in but equally when we're in the pool we have to swim lengths so we might end up doing a tumble turn or turning so i'm gonna add in a little bit of a cheeky thing we are actually going to be swimming and then we're gonna roll over jump up go on one leg and we're gonna go to streamline do you think we can do this are you ready let's go so let's swim this can be our trial one okay swimming 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 we're gonna roll over we're gonna jump up we're gonna land on one foot and we're gonna go into streamline 
Wowzers, that was tricky, but we got there. Let's give that another go, okay? So, we are going to swim and swim and swim and swim. We're gonna go now, roll over, jump up on my leg. Oh, and into streamline and stay still. Fabulous job. You can keep going with that as long as you like. And hopefully you enjoyed that one. Okay, so what I thought we'd do now is we'll show you by using a little mini aquathon how we do our swimming in a pool or in open water. So we're going to start off by just doing a little mini aquathon in the pool. Okay, so all we're gonna do, well, first of all, we're gonna go through it nice and steadily. And what you need to do is you need your goggles, obviously. So I'm gonna put my goggles on like this, and I'm gonna need my swim hat. So I've got my trusty woolly hat. Okay, and what else do I need? Oh, I need to make sure I've got my transition set up. So I'm going to pop my transition, so these are my trainers, they're really my socks, oops, just drop them, and there's my race belt, so I've got my race number on that, pretend. Okay, so imagine this blue mat is my swimming pool. So, as we start off, we have somebody behind us or something saying, take your marks, and we go, so we jump in the pool, because you're not allowed to dive. We get down into the pool, and we start swimming. Oh, we're going to do 10 strokes per length. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do 50 metres, but we've got to roll over. So we've got to go under the lane rope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll, and I'm going to oh, roll back again. Imagine that I've gone over the lane rope, under the lane rope. Oh, or done a roll, be poly, whatever you want. Two, three, one, and I've got to jump up. I've got to get out, but I can't. I've got to push myself out, so I'm going to jump out like that. Right, oh my gosh, I've got to get off. My hat, I'm gonna to run to my transition. First of all, I'm gonna put my socks on, or my trainers, put my race belt on, make sure my number is at the front. And then I'm gonna do 10 high knees, eight, nine, 10, 10 butt kicks. And I'm done, woohoo! Okie dokie. So do you think you guys can do that? Okay. Now, if you really want to take it to the next level, you could even do a roly-poly instead of doing a sideways roll. Whatever you feel more comfortable doing. So, let's see if we can do that again and a little bit quicker. Whew, now we know what we're doing. So, got my goggles on, got my hat on. Don't forget you always start with these on so you don't have to worry about putting them on in time. So, are you ready? We've got the race director behind me. He's gonna say, take your marks, go. So I'm gonna jump in the pool. I'm gonna get down. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my lap. Roll it over and back again. So I've done my tumble turn. And I'm doing two lengths, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, I can get out the pool. I'm gonna jump out the pool. Oh, whilst I'm going to my transition, I'm taking my hat and my goggles off, leaving it close to my transition. Putting my trainers on as quickly as possible, and my race belt, and off I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's our pool swim. But what makes our open water swim different? Well, that's easy. Wetsuit and no tumble turns. Or going into different lanes. Because you just go in a round circle or you go in a straight line. So, I've got to put my wetsuit on. Now, wetsuits always have the zip at the back. So I've got to put my onesie on towards the back, okay? To start off with, don't worry about doing up your onesie 
because that's a whole nother level of trying to get a wetsuit off before you go on the run. Okay, so I've got my onesie on. It doesn't make it easy, but it does make you float better. Okay, I'm not gonna do, or I might do it up a little way. Okay, I still need to have on my goggles. Let's pop them on and my hat. Okay, not that I can see much. Okay, are we ready? So, instead of jumping in, what we have to do for this is we have to wade in. So we're gonna do this to get in when we get told go. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna do 20 strokes this time because we don't have to do a roly poly. But then we're gonna get out and we have to wade out like this and we have to get our wetsuit off, hat off, goggles off, and then get everything back on, our trainers and our race belt. So, are we ready? This is our practice run. Okay, three, two, one, take your marks, and go. Okay, through the water, I dive in, oh. Okay, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is much easier wearing a wetsuit, much more streamlined. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, okay, jump up. Oh, see if I can get out. Okay, now I've got to take my wetsuit off. Oh, okay, this is hard. We don't worry about getting it in the right way. And we start taking our goggles off so we can see what we're doing. Oh, we use our feet to get our wetsuits off. Oh, put it nice and neatly so we don't want to get out of our box. Okay, put my trainers on. Oh, this is super hard. Makes you use up lots of energy even before you've got running. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're done. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Have another go. Enjoy yourselves. And hopefully that showed you the difference between a swim aquathon and a out open water aquathon. Don't forget, if you want to video yourself doing this, you can do that and then upload it to social media with hashtag feel unstoppable. Because hey, once you've done that, you do feel unstoppable. After all that, doing aquathons, doing open water aquathons, after doing our um, pool aquathon, and also doing our boomerangs, we've got to calm down. We've got to bring our heart rate down. We've got to try and relax. And no better way to learn from the animals that love being in the water than using some of their stretches. So this is one of my favorite stretches and this is called the frog stretch. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come down as low as you can. So you're in that frog position, hands together, and you're gonna put your elbows on your knees and just relax here and you are like a little frog just sitting here on your lily pad relaxing but what that's doing is that's opening up all your hips and making you stretch out so if you want you can push your arms out and what would be really good is if you put one hand on the floor and you reached up imagine the frog is trying to reach up with his, his little hand, or you can pretend that's the tongue, and he's gonna get one of them flies. So reach up as far as you can, so he's gonna have nice tea. And then we're gonna come back down. And then go to the other side, and reach up, and come back down. Do the same again. Reach up, and come back down. And come back down. Okie dokie. Right, we're gonna stand up, really nice and slowly. And we're gonna do some arm openers. So we're gonna do, be like an alligator. So alligators have those great big jaws that just come and clap and grab hold of whatever they want. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna grab hold of whatever we want with our big jaws. So we're just gonna reach back as far as we can like this. And then we're gonna crunch whatever we are gonna find and crunch. So we're stretching out all through our upper body and into our shoulders. Well done, one more time here. 
And then we're gonna go into being a flamingo. Flamingos like water, so that's good. And normally they stand on one leg. So what I want us to do is you're gonna reach one leg up, you're gonna place your leg on top, just above your knee, not on your knee, but just above your knee, so we look like a flamingo. Because that's kind of how they stand. But actually it's also a figure four. And all I want you to do is just sit down a little bit and you will feel the stretch all the way through your bottom. If you need to, I'll show you from the side, you're just gonna come down, whoa, I'm wobbling a little bit. If you need to, you can always grab hold of something. So if you've got a chair by you, grab hold of the chair and hold onto the chair and sit down. So you can see here, I'm just sitting down and you want to try and bring your chest up. Okay, let's swap to the other side. So again, bringing your foot up, placing it just above the knee and you're gonna squat down a little bit. So we're like a flamingo. You can even add in some wings if you want. Because they just stand there for ages on one leg, don't they? Okie dokie. Our last stretch, we're gonna be a hippo. Okay, so we're gonna come down onto our chests. And you know when hippos, they are underwater and then all of a sudden they come up. Oh, and we're just gonna come up, say hello, get some air, Ooh, and come back down again. And we're gonna do that a couple of times. We're gonna stay on our elbows to start off with, to stretch out our bodies and our chest. And we're gonna come down. Oh, and then if you want to, you can put your hands by your armpits and we're gonna come up even further to have a little peer around and see what else we can find. And then we're gonna come back down again. Come up. Oh, nice, lovely stretch through your body. And then we're gonna come back down. And one last time. Nice, lovely, cool down. And you can either stay down here for a little bit and wallow in your nice little pool and imagine it's lovely and hot and you're just having a nice swim around. Or you can try some of those out again. And again, make sure you tag yourself with Feel Unstoppable and hopefully today's session has made you feel unstoppable. See you soon. Bye.